Have you ever played a game that crossed a boundary and became uncomfortable for you in some way? When that happened, did it make the game better, or did it make you want to leave? And more importantly, would you want to play that game again? So, everyone has comfort zones, and kind of like a bubble around us, it has a boundary. Those boundaries are often pushed by television shows, movies, and the books that we read. Most often though, they're pushed by relationships. I don't believe any relationship can truly progress unless we are willing to move past what we are immediately comfortable with. This concept has an interesting relationship with role-playing games. Partly because we're not used to pushing these types of boundaries with our friends. It's just not how things work in our society. Also importantly, we are both our characters and not our characters. So how we portray ourselves in these situations, our friends know might be a piece of us, but isn't truly what we feel about it. And also importantly, the level of immersion will bring us right into a moment that just talking about won't. Some people want to deal with this, and some people don't. There's a really good article called I Will Not Abandon You vs. Nobody Gets Hurt by McGay Baker, where she discusses how this is a give-and-take relationship, and that one should be very clear what they want. The very idea of, I will not abandon you, is that you want your buttons to be pushed. You want to deal with that uncomfortable reality. Your friends will stay with you throughout the entire experience. Nobody gets hurt means that you don't want to go anywhere near the topics that could cause you pain or could cause pain to other people at the table. It's important to know the difference with your friends before you go anywhere near these types of topics. For nobody gets hurt, it's actually quite simple. You simply have to communicate your boundaries. There are some people who want to experience the disturbing parts of life. The whole horror genre is built off of this, but it starts as kids. Kids try to gross each other out, and I think a lot of that is still there as an adult. For those people, I have put a link to the most disturbing story I have ever read. Discretion is advised, but enjoy. To explore this through role-playing, the obvious choice is horror games. In fact, Dread, through the questionnaire, gives you an opportunity to tell the GM exactly where your buttons are. There are many more games that can be disturbing to a player as well, though. Kill Puppies for Satan is an obvious choice, but My Life with Master, as it explores abusive relationships, could definitely push people's boundaries. Additionally, Kagamatsu most certainly could push the boundaries of certain players. The last point I want to make on this is a personal one. Typically, I encourage people to explore gaming experiences that they otherwise wouldn't have. However, this is a case where you can destroy friendships, gaming groups, or, at the very least, someone's enjoyment of a game. So, make sure you know your audience before you get into this.